Well, tonight, D.C.'s Attorney General is forcing a Northeast D.C. hotel to increase its security. Our Matthew Torres reports from New York Avenue at the Ivy City Hotel, the site of several violent crimes in the last year, including murders. The Attorney General says the hotel owner agreed to these much needed safety changes on property. If not, the office would have taken legal action. Under this new agreement, owners of the Ivy City Hotel Northeast must increase security during overnight hours by having a security guard up to 46 hours a week. They're also required to maintain lights and security cameras, which will be surveilled by D.C. police in real time. We will be monitoring to make sure this owner complies with this agreement um, and watching to see. We're always hopeful that there will be a reduction in crime as a result of these kinds of changes. The Attorney General's office is enforcing these actions against the hotel after a violent year. Since February 2023, the hotel saw three deaths related to drugs, multiple incidents involving ghost guns, high-capacity magazines, and drugs, including fentanyl, two armed robberies, and two homicides, which include the murder of Christy Bautista in Virginia, who was stabbed several times in her room while in town to visit a concert. What happened to Christy and other crime victims at the Ivy City Hotel should never happen again. Sheila is Christy Bautista's aunt. We're just happy that um, that the Attorney General recognized that there are steps that need to be taken to protect the community and promote public safety. We go to the target and that's as far as we go. Neighbors support the changes. They feel the criminal activity that takes place at the hotel spills over to their side of the Ivy City community. I have to be very aware of what's going on at all times because I would say that I would feel better if there was higher presence of lights and police and just that overall. Officials are expected to enforce and monitor through the summer of next year. I try to get a hold of the hotel owner, but have not heard back. In Ivy City, Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.